happened by accident that I was serving overseas. I, I felt a definite call from the Lord. Uh, when I was a young person, a soldier at the Montreal Citadel Corps, I went off on a holiday to Mexico. And uh, it was while I was there that I really felt God speaking to my heart, um, showing me that there was a message to be told and that I needed to be one of the people who was going to tell that message. My first appointment out of Canada was in the Mexico and Central America territory as, as it was called then. Now it's Mexico is a territory on its own. But uh, I was sent there uh, to be the territorial commander's private secretary. I had only been an officer for a couple of months when I got that appointment and uh, went off to another far off country to serve the Lord there. I knew a handful of Spanish and that's about it. A few words, really phrases, and that's, and that's all I knew. So I arrived uh, in the middle of October and by Christmas I had given my first sermon in Spanish and a couple of months later, the, one of the two people on headquarters who spoke English was moved away and re replaced by someone who spoke only English and needed to be translated, and I was it. So uh, the Lord really worked uh, a miracle in my life in teaching me the language. Uh, so what are the challenges of being a Canadian overseas? Um, well, first of all, most people don't think of you as being Canadian. They think you're probably American. So the first thing is trying to uh, allow them to see that we come from a very different culture and a very different uh, way of life. Um, the other challenges I include things like um, learning to n navigate different processes. Um, nothing works quite the same as it does at home, and that doesn't mean it works better at home or better here. It's just different and you have to learn how to cope with those kinds of things. But certainly it's been an enriching experience to be in Latin America all these years and I think that the, the Latin American culture has kind of, it's certainly grown on me and uh, it's become a part of who I am. You can't live in another country for many years and not have it change you and you become a different person and so it's part of who I am now and yes it's a positive experience despite the difficulties and despite those moments of, of challenge. I think it's important to the internationalism of the Salvation Army. We have a wonderful international family but it's only by living in different countries and sharing with each other on a daily basis in the work that we do that that we really um, develop that internationalism and I think it's it's really important for us to have people from Canada going out into the rest of the world and it's important for people from this part of the world to have opportunities as well in, in other countries. Así que muchas gracias Canadá y Bermudas por todo lo, el apoyo que nos dan aquí al territorio este de Sudamérica. So thank you Canada and Bermuda for all of the support you give us here in South America East. Keep praying for us. Canada.